بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد احببت في الله of course this holy month of ramadan we should strive to make toba and repentance to allah azza wa jal every day make it toba and seeking forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking for his forgiveness asking for his continued mercy asking for his grace and favor because all of us are from the sinners as the prophet alayhi salatu was salam said in a sahih hadith qala alayhi salatu was salam kullu ibn adam khata wa khayran khatayn tawabun the prophet alayhi salatu was salam said all the children of adam uh, commit sins and the best of those who sin are those who repent i hope it took fillah we talked about repentance in some of our other ramadan sitting let's quickly go over the shuroot or conditions for repentance according to imam an-nawawi he said toba is an obligation from every sin and if this sin is between a person and between Allah a person and, and their lord subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty and it doesn't relate to the right of someone else then it has three conditions and then he mentions these three conditions he said the first thing and yuqli'a he said the first thing is removing yourself from the sin or stopping the sin and the second thing is that the person should feel sorrow for doing this action so what's the first one the first one is stopping the sin stopping it the second uh, condition for toba is that you feel sorrow you feel sadness you feel sorrow and and for what you did from wickedness a thalith the third thing a habit of allah and yet and ya'zima ala an la ya'uda ilayha abada fa in faqada ahada thalathati lam tusihha tawbatuhu imam nawawi said the third condition is that a person is determined not to return to this sin ever and if one of these conditions is not in place the imam said rahmatullahi alayh that his this person's toba is not accepted this is not considered toba it's not sound toba and then imam anawi explained the condition the fourth condition and this is the situation where this sin is something related to the rights of others instead of just the right of Allah azza wa jal he said wa yazad ash-shart rabi'a idha kana dhanbu yata'allaqu bi haqqi adami an yat an an yabra'a min haqqi sahibi sahibi فَإِنْ كَانَ مَالًا أَوْ نَحْوَهَا أَوْ نَحْوَهُ رَدُّهُ إِلَيْهِ So Imam Nawawi said, the fourth condition, if it relates to the rights of, uh, of others, is that a person returns the right to this person. And if it is their wealth, for example, or something similar to that they should return it and if it is for example uh that they have accused someone for example like a chaste woman or a chaste man of zina for example or adultery or something like this then they should take the sharia punishment you know take the lashes or they should seek pardon from that person you know that person's forgiveness and pardon that they pardon them so they don't have to 
go before the Islamic uh, uh, judge and receive the punishment of fadr. And if it relates to riba, you know, backbiting someone, then they should also seek their pardon and their forgiveness. And if it, uh, and, and then he said, هذا إذا لم يترتب على ذلك مفسدة 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 أعظم He said and this is related to this is in the case as long as it isn't a greater harm by doing so meaning by seeking that pardon seeking that forgiveness if this is a greater harm for some reason then you don't, you don't need to do that Maybe there's a great difficulty in seeking their pardon. You back, but uh, you backbited this individual, and this individual is known for their violence, perhaps. And if you seek their pardon, you know that this person is going to beat you down, or harm you, or possibly even kill you, because some people are very serious about their honor, and this should show us habitifillah. This is something very serious. That you should be very careful when you're talking about someone. Even if you're talking about someone from Ahl al-Bidah, if you can't back that up with a, a proof from the Shara, and you're not willing to undergo those consequences. Because some people don't play that. Some people will hurt you. Some people will kill you behind their honor. So be cautious. So in the case where there's going to be a greater harm in this situation, maybe you want to seek forgiveness, but you know that this is a very tough individual that doesn't, uh, deal with those matters lightly and will probably hurt you very bad and maybe your family then in this situation there's a greater harm in seeking their pardon so instead just make a toba sincere sincere to Allah and the other conditions of the toba apply that you don't you're determined not to return to that you feel sorrow you've repented you seek a stabfar to not return to that sin Then Imam Anawi said, وَيُحِبُّ أَنْ يَتُوبَ مِنْ جَمِيعَ الذنوب فَإِنْ تَابَ مِنْ بَعْدِهَا سَحَّتْ تَوْبَ تَوْبَ مِنْ ذَلِكَ الذِّمْ Imam Anawi said, and this is very important for us to understand as well, he said that if a person makes toba for all of their sins, Or that it is it is uh, recommended, or it's an obligation. Sorry, it's an obligation to make toba from all your sins, and we already mentioned this. And he said that if a person makes toba from some of their sins, their toba is correct, meaning related to those particular sins. So, for example, say a person they drink alcohol and they commit adultery. Or they committed adultery. And they made toba from committing the adultery. Because that was a result of their alcoholism. They were so drunk one night that they actually fell into zina with someone. Akramakum Allah. May Allah protect us from those sins. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. So in this situation, but then they made toba, they made repentance from the uh, zina. From the, uh, from the uh, fornication or adultery. But they didn't make toba repentance from the alcohol because they, they had a kind of an, they have an addiction and, and it's something they do repetitively and they know they have a great difficulty and they haven't determined themselves to remove that sin yet. Imam Noah says, that in this situation, the person. Uh, they've made sincere toba about the zina or the adultery, then they will be forgiven for that. But as far as the alcoholism, no. And then he said, uh, so, so then he, he mentioned this very important fact. So this lets us know, Habitifillah, that if you make toba and you make toba to remove a specific sin, then, and you have, of course, other sins, then this does not expiate all of your sins, but it expiates that particular sin that you made toba with. But in Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he mentioned some benefits. He says, مَنْ تَابَ تَوْبَةٍ عَمَّ كَانَتْ هَذِهِ تَوْبَةٍ مُقْتَضِيَةٍ 
لغفران الظنوب وإن لم يستحضر أعيان الظنوب إلا أن يعارض هذا عام معارض يجب تخصيص مثل أن يكون بعد الظنوب لو استحضر لم يتوب منه لقوة حبه إياه Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahmat Allah alayhi said that if a person commits, that if a person makes a general tawbah uh, for their sins, that this can remove their sins, this can be a forgiveness, uh, a forgiveness for all of their sins. Uh, even if they don't think of specific sins that they do, but again, of course, those conditions need to be in place. As long as there isn't something with, with regard to those specific sins that requires specific toba. Uh, and he mentioned, for example, uh, he mentioned, and we'll try to give an example very briefly. So he mentions a person, if they commit, uh, if they make toba for all of their sins. But what would be the ma'arad here is if they had a spe specific sin that they, and this is similar to what we said when we talked about Imam uh, uh conditions, is that if this person, for example, they love a particular sin, so they haven't really removed themselves from that sin, even though they made a general tawbah, khalas, I, I make tawbah from all my sins, and they feel sorry, sorrow about it, and they are determined not to go back to their sins, and this and this and this, but in fact they still love a particular sin. They love it, and they really haven't made toba. They really haven't uh, determined to leave that sin. So in this situation, then it would not be sufficient. That would not be a forgiveness for all their sins. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al-nafiris, kanthaybu amal al-mutakabinin, forgive us all of our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala accept our Ramadan and forgive us for jimi al-dhunubina. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.